Okay, so let's continue. I probably did a lot of rambling on that last part. And probably a lot of screaming. Which I'm not mad at you people at all. I'm not mad at all. I just sometimes have to, you know, make sure you people ain't slacking. So, we have to instill the fear of Yahweh on you people out there. To keep your flames going. I'm just playing. The Most High Yahweh's spirit, he comes upon me. He comes upon the brothers and sisters out there who believe in him. And, you know, when he puts his words in us, we have to say what, what, what it is. Okay, so it's been a while since I last made a video, probably about two months ago or a month and a half ago. And therefore, you know, I have to ramble once in a while. Life is life. But at the end of the day, we still here, you know. It's because of the will of the Most High. He chose for us to be here. We have to obey Him, not men. People out there are going to always talk crap. Remember that. We're not supposed to fear the reproach of mere mortals. Because that's what they are. They're mere mortals. They come and go. Some of these people, they weren't even destined to understand what the Most High Yahweh has, you know, predestined us to understand. Because all of this was destined for us to learn. All of it that the Most High Yahweh has spoken into being, it's happening. It's happening, all of it. So a lot of these people out there that are talking crap, you got to remember that God already seen their future. And that is the truth. It's not just something to say. It is the truth. That is the reason why he is called Yahweh. Do you understand? He foretold the former things long, long ago. And what? And suddenly they come to pass. So all these people that are around us, the Most High Yahweh even spoke them into being. Some of these people, they were just supposed to, you know, live their life as they are now. Work, go home, and do what they do, you know, or, or, or work and go to church and, and be a Christian. You got to remember, everybody was not destined to learn what the Most High Yahweh is, is teaching us, those who are willing to learn, okay? And that's the reason why. That's the only reason why, because he's seen that they were not going to be willing in their lifetime, all right? Because remember, the Most High, he give you, he give you, he give you life. He gives you a chance to, to, to worship him on this earth. Do you understand that? This is the reason why people are so ungrateful, because the Most High Yahweh has made this earth for us to do good in while we are here. That is how you will have a good name when you pass away. If you pass away, most high forbid. I don't want to die. I don't want nobody else to die. I hate death, but I have no control over it. Only the most high Yahweh has control over it. Do you understand that? But while we are here on this earth, we have to try to do as much good as we possibly can. Nobody's good. But we have to try to do as much good deeds on this earth while we're here. Alright? How else are you going to have a good name? How else will people remember you by? Do you want people to remember you as, a, a, you know, as an evil person? As somebody that all they did was just hurt others? All they did was take advantage from others. Do you want to be remembered as that kind of person? Do you want to be remembered as a per as a person that was teaching lies to, to their congregation? These are all the acts in this life that make you who you are. So God has given us a chance on this earth to test us, to see the kind of person that we were going to be. And that is why some people were not destined to learn this. Because he already seen the kind of individual they were going to be. He already seen the possibilities of what they would have done if he showed them this word. Okay? Which this word is being, it's being published on YouTube. It's being published everywhere. It's being made known now. And God is testing you all. He's testing you all to see what you're going to do with his word. So Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 20 And that you may love Yahweh your God Listen to his voice, you see that? His voice, his spirit That he puts upon you to do something for him Alright Do not be deceived 
and don't go thinking that, oh, well, you know, God is telling me to go kill this person. God is telling me to go shoot up this church. No, God is not going to tell you to do that because from jump, you're supposed to know God hates violence. He is against human sacrifices, okay? But again, you know, we just got to bring that out because, you know, why not? People just don't get it, so why not bring it out? Even though we've made videos on it in the past, but this is a new video. It's a new day. So it's a new time to bring it out. Your Jesus is fake. You understand that? Obey Yahweh, your God, not a man-made God. You see that? Hey, you know, I'll give you this, though. I give them this. So, I can understand why, you know, the Greeks, they chose to serve the gods of their slave. I understand that perfectly well now. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 9. I will surely raise my hand against them. So that what? So that their slaves will plunder them. You see that? Who was their slaves? The Egyptians. The Greeks conquered Egypt and they took their gods and that's how you got Jesus and Virgin Mary. Spread the word. That's the truth. That's the good news. It says, then you will know that who that Yahweh Almighty has sent me. You see that? Has sent who? Has sent his word. Just like that. All right? I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, this is talking about me. Who am I to say that's talking about me? He can use anybody, any one of us. All I know is that he has put his word in me to tell you this. Okay? This is what's going on now. Okay, the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to raise his hand against these Greeks, against these other nations that are ruthless, that are arrogant, that think that they worship the right God, that think that God is on their side. Okay. So, at the end of the day, it's not about being racist. It's about being righteous. And if you got a problem with that, then hey, that is your problem, not mine. Let's finish off here in Deuteronomy. For Yahweh is your life, and he will give you many years in the land he swore to give your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? It's just that simple. Yahweh is the one who is over life. He can give you many years. That's my whole point. All right? That's the whole point here. He's over life and death. He knows who's going to be here, who's not going to be here. Okay? Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. Look what it says now about this wicked wisdom that is enticing the people because it's not that we're jumping from one subject to another it's not that we need fillers in my video but you have to understand the reason why the people don't obey and stuff like that is because they are enticed with this wicked wisdom so it says folly is an unruly woman she is simple and knows nothing she sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by who go straight on her way. So it says that Folly is an unruly woman, right? Just like this happened probably about a month ago or two, okay, where you have this woman that went to the Bronx Zoo and went near a lion, right? And she said that the lion did not attack her because she was reincarnated as a lion. So, you know, the Most High Yahweh says that the people out there, they are enticed with a wicked wisdom. And this is supposed to be a Hebrew Israelite, all right? This is what she says. She's a Hebrew Israelite. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Okay, so Isaiah 48 and 1 says, Listen to this, you descendants of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Yahshua and come from the line of Yahweh, because we talked about how the Hebrews got scattered with the Hamites. That's the line of Yahweh. And that is the truth. It's not about being racist, it's about being righteous. It says, you who take oaths in the name of Yahweh and invoke the most high of Yahshua, but what? But not in truth or righteousness. Why? Because they say, oh, I came reincarnated as a lion. Oh, shalom brothers and sisters, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. But then they're doing dumb shit like, you know, provoking the cops to arrest them and things like that. But you're supposed to be a Hebrew Israelite, right? It says here, you who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and claim to rely on the most high of Yahshua'el. Yahweh Almighty is his name. You see that? It's not Yah, okay? It's not Yahuwah, 
or whatever you think that it is. It's Yahweh. Which again, I mean, you know, I'm confident enough to say that. If people out there are still having a problem with the name of the Most High, well, that's because you're not confident enough. You know, you need more faith. But I have faith enough to say that is the name of whom you call God, whom you call the Most High. Proverbs 31 and 10. Now it says, a wife of a noble character who can find. A lot of women out there will get gassed up and say, oh yeah, that's about to talk about me. But it's not talking about you. You see, this is talking about wisdom. But if you think just because you're a Hebrew Israelite sister that you are virtuous, you're bugging. Just because you are a Hebrew Israelite sister doesn't make you virtuous. There's ways to that. It says, a wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Furthermore, it says, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. You see that? So I bring this up because I just told you that I have confidence in the name of the Most High. That's the wisdom that is crowned on my forehead. Proverbs 12 and 4. A wife of noble character is her husband's crown. You see that? You can't wear your wife on your head. <laughs> I mean, you know, unless you got your head up her ass. The Most High Yahweh says that a true wife of noble character is talking about the wisdom that he gives us, okay? It says, a wife of noble character is her husband's crown, but a disgraceful wife is like decay in his bones. Which is talking about that, that, uh, that seductive wisdom, all right? That wisdom that entices people to do the wrong thing. You know, to make money your priority, to make sex your priority. That's that well, wicked wisdom that the Most High Yahweh warns us about. That's that strange wife that will entice you. You get it? Because the wife that the Most High Yahweh gave us is a wife of noble character, rather say. But this is a disgraceful wife that he's talking about. And that's the wife, that's the wisdom that the people are enticed with. Today, Proverbs 8 and 11, it says, For wisdom is more precious than rubies. You see that? So it's not talking about a woman that you wear in your head. It's talking about the wisdom of the Most High that gets stored in your brain and your memory banks. That's how it becomes a crown. All right? For wisdom is more precious than rubies. And nothing you desire can compare with her. Like I had said, you know, earlier. Many people, you know, they, they, they take no interest in the word of the Most High. Why? Because it won't get them no money. They can't get the bag worshiping the Most High. But the Most High how it says, and nothing you desire can compare with her. So, you know, again, you people out there think you know it all. That's on you. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 16. Yahweh, their God, will save his people on that day as a shepherd saves his flock. They will sparkle in his land like jewels in a crown. Why? Because Yahweh's people are going to be wise. They're going to be filled with the Most High Yahweh's spirit on them. He's going to give them the wisdom to know his ways. That's why. It's not because we're going to get slaves, Ak. We're going to rob this bank, Ak. It's because they're going to have the wisdom of the Most High in their mind. All right? Furthermore, it says, how attractive, right? How lovely and beautiful they will be. Grain will make the young man thrive and new wine the young woman. All of this is, you know, metaphorical. <laughs> how some people say it's spiritual. All right? But if you're carnal minded, hey, you're going to take this. <laughs> you're going to take this exactly for what it says. Oh, you see, the Most High is going to let us have these golden chains. We going to be having these nice cars. Oh, but God talks about how attractive and beautiful they will be. So all of you out there that are trying to use the word of the Most High for your own benefit, right? Well, these are the days that it stops because everything is going to be exposed. Isaiah 62 and 3. You will be a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Furthermore, it says here, 
no longer will they call you deserted. Why? Because our mind is going to be filled with the increase. You understand that these other nations don't know the ways of the Most High as much as they think. Please. All right. The majority of the people, especially here in, in the United States, you people are worshiping Greek and Egyptian gods. End of story. All right. With, with everybody else's customs. All right. That's why you celebrate, uh, <laughs> celebrate Christmas. You celebrate Valentine's Day. All these so-called holidays got an origin. All right. Where they come from. But America steals everybody's stuff. And they want to generate money from it. All right. Even Halloween have its origin. But here in America, they want to make money out of it. So that's what you do here in America. You take everybody's stuff, you try to claim it as your own, and you try to force it upon the people. But that's not going to work with me. It don't matter how much you try to make your Jesus be real. He would never be real to me. All right? I don't care how many of you old heads out there are saying, Oh my God, I can't believe his mouth. That's fine. You don't have to believe this. But guess what? I don't believe your Jesus. So... At the end of the day, we're not dummies no more. And a lot of people are hating the fact that Yahweh's people are waking up. That's why me, I always say peace, blessings, and love to all who worship the Most High. Whether you are white, black, Asian, Arab, Hispanic, Native, it don't matter. You understand that? And I truly mean that. But there's people out there that will always try to flip your words and try to make you be a person that you're not. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever you see that this is the will of the most high praise Yahweh.